Importing custom audio into your map at this early stage of the tools being released is a bit nifty. Um, you can't actually just import sounds, you have to replace sounds already in the game. I'm going to show you how. So first off, let's record some audio. I'm going to make some random weird sounds and that's what I'm going to use to import into the map. Okay, let's go get that file. Alright, here's the file in which I say those random weird ass sounds. I'm going to copy this file, place it onto my desktop. Now I need to turn this file into a WAV file. That's the format that Source uses audio files as. Uh, the best suggestion is to just go online and search for MP4 to WAV converter. You, it depends on if you've got an MP3, then you search MP3 to WAV converter. This one right here I use quite a lot. So we change the output format to a WAV. We then drag in the sound, we convert the sound, and then download it. And now, we have the sound right here. I'm going to put this on my desktop, just so it's easier to find. Now that we've got the sound, we need to replace a audio file already in Half-Life Alex. So, we need to go to the file path of our Half-Life Alex. In this case, mine's in my internal drive. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life Alex, Content, Half-Life VR Add-ons, and then you look for your add-on file. In this case, mine's called Workshop Tutorial. And then you create a new folder called Sounds. Now, the best audio file I'd say to replace is the G-Man lines. Because there are so many G-Man lines and uh, they're hardly ever used. They're only used once in the whole game. If you run out of G-Man lines, which I doubt you will, uh, just use Russell lines. Now, we need to create the file path to G-Man's voice lines. So in the asset browser, I'm going to search for G-Man, and here's all the G-Man sounds. There's a lot of sounds that aren't really used. Until we... what? Impre... So clicking on the sound file that I want to replace, which is just a G-Man uh, voice line, it shows us the file path to the actual voice line. So we need to recreate this file path in our add-ons folder. So as we are, back in our sounds folder, Make a new folder called VO, which stands for voice lines. Then go inside it and make another folder called GMAN. And inside this is where we will place our sound file. So go back to the desktop, grab the WAV file that you've made, and paste it in here. Then rename the WAV file to a GMAN line. So in this case, this line right here, which is called 04 underscore 00200. Now if we go back into the asset browser, it should have changed. And there you go. <laughs> My weird ass voice is, is now in, in G-Man's line. Um, if you want this audio track to loop, you will then need to download an app called Wavesaw. Wavesaw is the classic old um, program that you use to edit WAV files. Um, in this case, to make a WAV file loop, we need to drag in the audio file that we want to loop, which is the G-Man uh, replacement line I've just made. I drag it in here, press Control a to highlight all, then press this button up here, which inserts markers at the start at the end of our audio line. Press Control s and it should have saved. Now this audio track will loop. Now go back into Half-Life Alex, place down your audio entity. I'm going to use Ambient Generic. There we go, we have an Ambient Generic. Now go to Sound Name, click the search bar, and search for G-Man line. Don't search G-Man because nothing will come up. You need to search for the o the actual audio name. In this case, it's 04 underscore 0. And here's all the G-Man voice lines. And here's ours. As you can see, it was looped. Place it in there, and voila, you've inserted a custom audio line. Now, to make this audio line work, I'm going to place a trigger right here. I'm going to place a cube then press Control t to turn it into a trigger. I'm going to give this audio track a name, Ambient's Weird Voice. Then on the trigger, I'm going to add an output. On Start Touch, Ambient's Weird Voice, play sound. So when I walk into this trigger, it will play the sound. You don't need to remake this trigger. This is just showing that this is how a way of activating the audio. Now I'm going to load up the game and show you. But before you load up the game, make sure you bake the audio. If you haven't already, create a probe box, generate probes, then bake the reverb. Always bake the reverb every time you add a new audio file or add a new wall or a new entity. It's very important that you do that or the reverb will be weird. 
After you've baked the reverb, make sure you bake the paths too. That's also important. Now when you've finished all that, go to File, Build Map. Since we're only testing the audio, we're going to do a fast compile. Here we are, loading into the map. So if I walk into this invisible trigger right here, the audio should play. And since we added uh, the cue files on the front and end of the audio track in, wa in Wavasaur, it now loops. And as you can hear, the reverb works fine as well because we baked the reverb. 